Hello and welcome to Travel Chef. Today we are going to make fish gravy in Kerala style and that is with a fish called basa. So basa is a boneless fish that we can get in all supermarkets. So that's the way we have got this. For our viewers who have not seen our previous video how to make basa fish fry, I suggest looking at the link on top or the card on top where you can view a previous video how to make basa fish fry. It's a very simple method which we have shown. So do have a view on that. Okay, it's time to cut the talk and let's see how to make the fish curry. So come along, let's do it. Basa is a fish fillet that we can get in all supermarkets and online grocery stores. We have bought this basa from an online grocery store but it is not necessary to use only basa but we can use uh, katla, pomfret, other fish to make fish gravy. Of this 1 kilo of basa we have bought, we have used only 500 grams to make our fish gravy and which serves around 4 people. The first step is to cut the pieces of basa into smaller chunks. Be sure not to cut the basa too small, else they'll get dissolved in the gravy. Once we have cut the basa into smaller pieces, we need to place it in a clean bowl. Then we need to add 1 teaspoon of salt to the fish. You see, adding salt to the fish helps to remove the uh, fish smell that comes out of the basa. We can spread the salt around with the fish by using a hand. Next, we need to wash the salt away with clean water. We wash it three times. So by this time, all the smell of the fish would be washed away. Next, we need to squeeze the water from the fish. Ensure that it's squeezed nicely so that the masalas can stick along with the fish. The next is to add 1 teaspoon or 2 teaspoons of salt to water. Then we need to add 2 pieces of Kerala tamarind and set it aside. We are adding Kerala tamarind or kodambuli because it will add a little salt taste to the fish gravy. Next is to add all the ingredients which is 1 onion, few pots of garlic, 2 green chilli, half a inch ginger and few curry leaves. The next step is to slit the green chillies lengthwise and both green chillies need to be slit. After slitting the green chillies, we need to chop the onions and the garlic into small finer bits. After the ingredients are finely chopped, our next step is to light the fire on the stove on high flame and place an empty and clean kadai. Next we need to add 5 tablespoons of cooking oil and wait till the oil gets heated. Once the oil is heated, we need to add all the chopped ingredients into the oil. We need to stir it a bit so that the ingredients are cooked. Once the ingredients are soft enough and cooked, we need to add 1 teaspoon of salt for taste. 
sprinkle the salt around and next we need to add one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste as we add in each ingredient we need to stir it a bit next we need to add half a teaspoon of turmeric Then we add 3 teaspoons of coriander powder. And continue to stir. Next we add 1 teaspoon of cashmere chilli powder for the colouring. We add cashmere chilli powder. Uh, because we don't want our fish gravy to be too spicy. Then we add half teaspoon of ordinary chilli powder. Here we add one teaspoon of rasam powder. See rasam powder is just optional because uh, just to get the flavor of this. Wait till the masala comes out, uh, wait till the oil comes out of the masala. And then we add one half a teaspoon of pepper powder. Now it is time to add the uh, Kerala tamarind and the water. Add a little water for it to be a little more gravy. So the fish gravy is more liquid. Continue to stir until the masala boils. Next we need to add the fish pieces. Be sure to drop in the fish pieces slowly, else we might risk them breaking. Now we need to cook the fish. For this we need to cover the kadai and cook it on medium flame. Simultaneously we need to roast 1 teaspoon of fenugreek. Once we roast the fenugreek to a brown color, we need to add 1 teaspoon of mustard. We need to stir bo both the ingredients together until the mustard splutters and the fenugreek is in brown in color. Now we need to add the ingredients to a stone grinder and we need to powder the ingredients. As we powder it, it should be coarse. Now as the fish cooks, we need to add the powder to the fish. Ensure that the ingredients is mixed with the masalas and the fish gravy. Continue to stir so that all the ingredients are well combined. The next is to make coconut paste. We need to take one handful of coconut which is grated and we need to place it in a mixer jar adding a little water because it needs to be a little watery. Once the paste is done, we need to mix it with the fish gravy which is cooking. Now pour the paste into the fish curry which is already boiling and then stir it. Keep this on medium flame so that we don't risk the gravy getting 
evaporate it too fast. Continue to stir the mixture and the fish gravy until it boils. Once the ingredients are boiled, we need to add 1 teaspoon of coconut oil. Smear it a bit across the kadai. Now on medium flame, we raise it to a high flame for the liquid to evaporate. And now the fish gravy is ready to be served. Fish gravy can be had with rice, chapati, parotas, etc. It's a very tasty dish and it smells good as well as it tastes good. We hope you like our videos and we request you to subscribe to our channel. If you have any positive comments, please share it across so that we can improve our videos in future. And in the meantime, please don't forget to hit the bell icon for further notifications. Stay tuned till the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.